A group of officials in Butte County are joining with law enforcement statewide trying to increase penalties for drug and theft crimes. They want to put an initiative to repeal Prop 47 on the November ballot. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live this morning where some of those signatures will be collected today. Diego, what are they planning locally? Kelly, they hope to get more signatures here at Walmart uh, to, to reform a current law, Prop 47. Butte County law enforcement and Orville officials are pushing the Drug and Theft Reduction Act on the ballot this November. This is a reformation to better protect retailers, fight increased theft, as well as prosecute crime harsher. So I believe that it was passed with good intentions. It had some unintended side effects that have been uh, detrimental to uh, quality of life in Orville in some areas. He says the result of Prop 47 has boosted crime and drug addiction, not just in Orville, but all, all over California. Any type of theft or drug possession under $950 is now only a misdemeanor regardless of how many times a person commits theft. Officials say the result is having a direct impact on retail companies and the dangers of drug use and selling. With the reformed act, someone with prior convictions can be charged with the felony regardless of how much money is stolen. Now, Councilman Weber says the goal is to stop repeated drug and theft crime and to, um, and to stop crime with more legal action. Reporting live in Orville, I'm Diego Moctezuma with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thanks, Diego. The Butte DA, Sheriff, and others will be outside the Walmart there in Oroville between 10.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. today collecting signatures.